Hello, Drip community. Welcome back to my channel. This is Blue Chip Drip. Not a financial advisor. Never have been, never will be. Just sharing my opinion, my thoughts, my adventure with the king of DeFi, the Drip Network. Just wanted to um, bring up a little something here, guys. Uh, you may not remember, but a few months back, I launched a video about this gentleman here. This guy, well, not these guys, but the guy they're going to be talking about. One of my best friends in the world. He uh, worked for a big IT company years ago, worked his way up to general manager, you know, marquee job, but wasn't happy, decided he wanted to start an airboat tour company. And I sh pretty much shared his journey of how he made that leap. Uh, with everybody telling him, man, you got a good job, don't leave, including his parents, you know. But he just, he ignored uh, everyone and went after his dream. And today, uh, here we are, I think eight, nine years, almost 10 years later, he's got six boats, airboats up under him and uh, with six captains, you know, doing awesome. Anyway, um, I do have a point to make here. Hoping for 18 months, Captain Mike and his wife Kelly but have been offering people the opportunity to witness. Our specialty is that's Mike back in the back, Captain the Mike. Shallow waters of Saint Augustine. Sea serpent tours gives riders views beyond. So, if you guys are going to go to Saint Augustine, look, so look up Sea Serpent Tours. It's a good history, half a day tour. Uh, Let's and legends of the area. We hear a lot about and see a lot about the ecosystem in the area. Nice. More details, please. Anyway, uh, you know, here's an example where, you know, this guy, when I made a video, I was talking about don't follow the herd. You know, when the herd, you know, like in crypto, you know, you, you panic the herd sells, dumps, everybody. You try to, you know, you don't make any money running with the herd is what I was trying to point out. And uh, anyway, this guy, uh, Captain Mike, he uh, he he also, uh, he's the one that introduced me to my team captain, Big T, Tom Reinberg. And uh, Tom got Mike in crypto some years back. And Tom, I mean, oh, Big T, man, he's made more people money in crypto than he has himself. Mike hit some big licks. Uh, with um, what was that coin called? Might have been Doge Coin. Was he uh, Doge Coin? He made some money with XRP because of Tom. He made some money with um, Ethereum. Anyway, uh, but um, I think when the bear market hit, and he might have lost some money. And um, oh, he he got rugged along with me in Star Nodes. So. Um, you know, I think we showed him drip and drip was only paying 1% and star was paying six. And for whatever reason, he decided to go off the big money. But after the rug of star nodes, he, he just didn't want to have anything else to do with it. Anyway, uh, he called me, uh, about a week or so ago. He's like, dude, get me in drip, man. Get me in drip. I think he's been following YouTube and seeing what's going on. And I recommended that, uh, because he and Big T live in St. Augustine, that Big T go and roll him, you know, and, and be his team captain because he's, you know, definitely a lot more qualified than myself, you know, technically speaking. And he's right there. So if he has any problems. And so uh, uh, Captain Mike is in the drip community now. I think he came in with about 1,500 last night and he's about to, he called me up, you know, I, I I didn't know he did it. He called me up and um, he must have been, I think he'd been drinking or something because I'm like, hey, how's it going, man? And and he's just like, I didn't even know he was in drip already. And he goes, I want to be a baby whale. And I'm like, I tried to say, what? Tom got you in, but every time I'd go to say something, he would just cut me off and say, I want to be a goddamn baby whale. He must have said it 20 times. <laughs> but anyway, uh, He's in now, so, and, and I actually, I, I was going to tell, I was telling him about the Crypto Collective, but it turns out when they were trying to enroll him, 
they couldn't get his buddy address to work. So Big T reached out to the Crypto Collective last night and they got him going. I think it was, you know, when you copy and paste, you got to make sure you don't have any spaces in there or whatever. It was something like that. But they responded quickly, got him enrolled. And so um, I'm definitely going to be uh, he'll be he's going to be hitting the telegram up to say hello to the crypto collective y'all welcome him in i got a strong feeling both he and big t uh it's weird you're hearing people complain about you know ddd not launching today and and uh big t and mike they're like man if they can just hold off on ddd for about a week or so let us stack some wallets so i think they're trying to scrounge up some dollars to put in the drip man but um anyway y'all give uh you know y'all give him a big welcome when he surfaces i asked him if he was going to use a youtube name like captain mike and he said he wants to use gordo so um uh i don't know he he, he wants to use that name gordo and i so if that's what he wants to use that's what he'll use anyway so having said that uh you know still we're all still accumulating and um i know they finished up the testing with the drip drop draw uh i did take a peek in the telegram today and i don't know who forex was responding to but i'm not going to read the whole thing you i'm sure it's another telegrams he just said uh, you know he's kind of telling somebody that you know you know the the level of testing that they're doing has been pretty intense uh this is a big project that has to be integrated flawlessly otherwise people you know people's funds are at stake that's not how he said it he said it in other words but he's just saying that um you know security is most important and and he's not going to launch now these are his words i believe this is bot Baba G for it, Shark Sifu. If somebody let me know if that's a different person or that's Forex's complete name or something. I don't know. He just says, I will not launch a launch a suboptimal project or a project that could put users at risk. And this is my primary focus. We will be making a launch announcement very soon. And when we do, it will be something that we can be proud of. So man that's fine with me uh you know i'm glad i'm really excited about having my uh having uh tom reinberg my team member back you know he uh hey you know i, I mentioned in another video he got rugged and strong and he told me i could say that but i've been rugged twice so i'm not trying to make fun or patronize anybody i was just stating a fact it's just that um you know the amount that you know he he lost there um you know, it just kind of made him want to, he just wanted a break from crypto, but he's back. He's back in drip and man, he's, uh, you know, he's been really uh, hitting the YouTubes, watching the YouTubes and the other telegrams and talking with people. Then he's identified his goal, you know, you Zig Ziglar people, what does Zig always say? Do you have a goal or are you just a wondering generality? <laughs> but uh, anyway, he has a goal of, he says he needs 10 max wallets. You know, reason being, you're not so worried about the price. You know, if the price is 10 cent or 5 cent or 20 cent, 50 cent, a dollar, you know, you're still getting enough in to cover your nut. So um, I, I like that goal myself. I really do. So, uh just going to keep trying to accumulate much as we can and and uh ex when it you know when dd launches and i know we'll see some positive price action uh either way uh formulate a good uh claim strategy that like i've always talked like i continue to talk about formulate a claim strategy that you're getting the money you need put in an equal amount back into the ecosystem and building out about two max wallets a month. Actually, my team leader, man, he's like a new man, guys. He's like a new man. He sent me this. I'll read you what he said. What he said. Then I'll 
then I'll close out for those of you guys that are still with me. What one, see, he needs to do a video on this. So this would be like a warm up. What one max wallet can do for you in one year airdropping and compounding. It creates a second max wallet in four months, a third in six months, a fourth in 7.3 months, a fifth in eight months, a sixth three weeks later in month nine, a seventh 19 days later, month 10, eighth and ninth max wallet in month 11. 11th and 12th. So, it, you know, you can build out. Damn. So he's saying you could do 12. Man, he's, I'm a, he needs to do a video on this, man. I'm not going to read all this. But, but I, like, I like where his mind is at. <laughs> so anyway, those were just, I wanted to uh, talk to you guys about, um, you know, my buddy, Captain Mike of the Sea Serpent Tours, a.k.a. Gordo. And um, oh, let me check the math on that. If you had 10 max, max wallets, right, times 200 after the whale tax, you'd about 246. That's 2460 a day times 19. And I know there's taxes and stuff. I just want to hadn't really put too much effort in it. Damn. So if you went to 46 max wallets, I mean 246 and rewards time 10 max wallets, that puts you at 2460. Drip per day times 19 cent. So that's four hundred and sixty-seven dollars and forty cent a day, times thirty cent. So at today's price, these guys out there with ten max wallets or more, they're knocking down some money. Fourteen k, I could survive on that. Shoot, man. So I guess if it went down to like ten cent, you'd be like half that, around seven thousand dollars a month. Or if it went down to five cent, you'd be around. 3,500. Well, guess what? I can still survive on that. So, you know, we can talk, we can do some moon boy math. All right. One moon boy math. Okay. I know I've looked at all kinds of charts with the drip, drop, draw, what it's going to do. And I've heard people that I have nothing but respect for, uh, put out some good numbers and price and, um, me, Personally, I, I'm not, I don't even know how to read these charts and stuff. But if I was a betting man, like my son asked me the other day, he said, what do you think it's going to do? And I said, well, if you ask me, I think that drip, drop, draw, there's going to be a massive amount of capital. People wanting to play it and hit it. It's going to cause some sort of a pump. Who knows, you know, dollar, two dollars, maybe three dollars. But then I think there's going to be a massive dump. I think there's a lot of people out there just waiting, you know, trying to hoard drip and play it like a, a Bitcoin or a, a Shiba Inu or something. So once all that happens and then we start getting into that consistent organic price action, you know, whether it's 50 cent or a dollar, dollar 25, dollar 50, two dollars, you know, so. If I was a betting man, and I, I you know, and I, I'm not good at betting, but if I, for me, if you want my opinion, I think we could see a consistent one to two dollar drip, and uh, as people start winning and more excitement, you know, I'm able to talk about something else on YouTube, like somebody hitting a jackpot or whatever, uh, and some of that FOMO kicks in. And see, that's the part the charts can't read. Can't read the FUD, can't read the FOMO, and they're both going to come. So anyway, personally, me, I feel like we could be around a good, consistent $1 to $2 drip after the initial pump and the initial dump, and we get some consistent action going on. But what do I know when every doggone person or content creator that's been involved in the uh, – testing 
they all say the same thing that whatever we think uh, drip drop draw is going to do or how the price wise or whatever that we can't even fathom what this thing is going to do. So that's why I'm really reluctant to say, well, here, I think the price is going to do this, but whenever um, all the people, I have not had one person come back from the testing and say, it's a piece of shit or it sucks or it's not going to work or whatever. You know, I've um, seen some pecker heads on YouTube, but you know, they're, they're always going to be there. So that's my thoughts on the drip drop draw. Um, I'm sure it'll be out soon. Looking forward to it. But um, in the meantime, we're going to keep building those wallets out. And um, I think I got uh, in my fifth wallet, the one I'm trying to build out right now. I'm wondering if I made a mistake, man. Um, and, and I want to say thank you again to the Crypto Collective being there for uh, Big T when he called last night trying to enroll uh, Mike in Gordo. Man, y'all were there, got him in. And uh, let me tell you something. Uh, Gordo and I, about 10, 12 years ago, I don't know if you get any of you guys remember this or involved in it. It was a, uh, it, it was probably a crypto may not have been too big. It was a program. It was penny auctions. It was called Zeke's. And that damn thing was paying, man. That thing was paying, but they just didn't follow the compliance rules and the SEC got a hold of them. It, it was like penny auctions and they just didn't do their due diligence, man. That's all that was. Zeke's was paying, man. It was paying. And I remember Gordo, Gordo, Mike, man, he was working that sucker. And he's always said, man, that really pissed me off about Zeke's. I, I was good at it. I was good. And it, it was pure Ponzi, man. It was pure, just basic anti Ponzi-nomics. And that damn thing was clicking, man. It was paying. And uh, it didn't tank. It didn't rug pull. SEC, uh, like I said, the guy just kind of threw it together. He didn't do all his duty. You couldn't go on the computer and look at the liquidity and none of that stuff. So, But anyway, having said that, I know that when Gordo gets his teeth in this thing, you, you go – I know he's going to get that same mindset with it. He's going to love drip, and he really is. So anyway, thank you guys so much, and uh, stay bullish and keep on dripping. This is Blue Chip Drip out of here.